Cut the head, put, put a bag over the head, cut and the license off. You don't know if that's making a style you know, or sauce the way it was sugar. That's all I was saying, like, oh, this is Bro, what the fuck? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast, man. This dude, Gilbert Arenas, man, and this Nick Young whole going on tour to pretty much embarrass themselves for the most part, in my opinion. I don't know what the hell is going on, man, but looks like No Chill Gil is saying that the guy, Saucy Santana, who is obviously in a part of the uh, LBGT community, he's obviously known for his come up. He has a few songs. He's like best friends with Young Miami. Uh, and this is a guy who literally goes on stage and, you know, twerks, you know, he likes to shake his ass and wear nails, you know, he has a beard and, you know, obviously he's embraced by a lot of the world, you know, so, uh, he's made a big name for himself and Gilbert Arenas, man, goes on here pretty much trying to clown Nick Young for saying that Saucy Santana was his roommate, but looks like No Chill Gil has a lot more to say that kind of is cringy is cringy fuck that that's very cringy though to hear two grown men talk like this and i'm going to give you guys my fair take on this as i react to this video but before i continue to react to this video please guys take time hit that like button it is because of you that this youtube channel is growing and i love providing content for you guys so please do me a huge favor take a half a second of your life hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe back to the video no chill gill i see he is living up to that name as well uh swaggy p I, I don't know like what to make of these guys i don't know may, i don't know with all this p diddy shit going on in the world and cat williams pretty much outing the industry you just don't know what to believe out here and it kind of makes me look at a lot of these people in the industry a lot like what charleston white said like a lot of these guys are paid but they sacrifice a lot of things to be on these podcasts and to be able to be in the limelight um uh, and and hearing stuff like this man it just makes no sense to me uh you know no chill gill we, we we know that he's known to be off the rails with a lot of his takes but he's pretty much insinuating from the beginning of this video i haven't watched the whole video but he's insinuating that saucy santana has an ass like that like of uh, if he's comparing it to megan the stallion and guys i have not watched this video um have i seen saucy santana like being promoted on other instagram people's pages yes but i do not take the time out of my day to look at things that that are interesting uh to nick young and gilbert arenas so he's pretty much insinuating that if you turned the lights off and you was pretty much doing the do with a chick you wouldn't even know if this was a guy or a girl because the ass was pretty big and it was pretty much being twerked and jiggled he with the saucy santana was it sounds so weird but saucy santana was pretty much jiggling and twerking his ass so so good apparently to give it arenas that give it arenas was like damn like hey if there was a woman you wouldn't know dude pause please what are you talking about give it arenas like who thinks like this and what situations have you been in because this sounds like some sean p diddy love type of criteria and he's just making it worse for himself as the whole world reacts to this. But let's continue to watch this video. Man, that's just him, right? Here. Yeah, like, yeah, you, that's your, that's your style. You, that's no, you saying like that's him, or you trying to say like me with him? And I just can't get because I laugh. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't laugh, okay. <laughs> if I laugh too hard, okay. Nah, you they don't play fair. They don't. They don't play, no, I'm just saying the community don't play fair because either way. <laughs> We in trouble. You defend if you defended the person, what everybody gonna say? All yeah. straight people are like, oh yeah, you defend the way you do all. Yeah. And I get what he's saying with that because I see with the whole Meek Mill situation, um, you know, him coming out after what sounds exactly like a Philadelphia rapper who used to date Nicki Minaj, who did a lot of things with P. Diddy. We saw what DJ Academics pretty much went on the air and read the paperwork on a guy who had sexual relationships with P. Diddy, openly admit the dirty laundry of Meek Mill apparently or uh, accusing him of being down, you know, with the LBGT community. And uh, Meek Mill has since been trying to defend his honor and, you know, post and cryptic tweets and pretty much trying to go all out the way to co convince the world that he's not like that. We saw the same thing with Shannon Sharp. He's trying to come out and say that he's not like that. And what it does is it makes you look even worse because of the way that you're defending it. And it's just like, Hmm, you know, so it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. 
uh, like Gilbert Arenas is alluding to. Uh, but in this situation, it's just the the wordplay or just how he's describing it. I get where he's trying to go with this, but he's not helping himself. He's she's trying to take the too cool approach and joke and laugh about it. The whole time he's just making it worse. If you don't defend, they turn your head. So no matter what, we we gay. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. If, if, if we out, <laughs> 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 got the clothes. Leave it to sit. You know what I mean? Forget why were you laughing so hard? I know. Why were you laughing so hard? You like laughing. you made me. That's why I got in trouble because you was laughing so hard. Oh, who the hell is this chick? Whew. Shit, what's her name? What's her name? I gotta get her name, man. Why well, you have to show his ass turkey? Because I'm saying, I'm just saying, like, yo, this is, this is, this is, this is what you got. This is what you got going on over the college field. The thing right here, man, Gilbert Arenas, he tries so hard to get a laugh out of everything. Only thing is, in this situation, the joke is on you. Uh, because, like, Nick Young's saying, it's like, you could have, you could have did all of this without trying to be extra. And because... A Gilbert Arenas is always trying to make a joke of himself. It seems like to me that Gilbert Arenas is trying his best to continuously go viral for the most epic sayings in the way that he comes out with these outlandish outbursts. And I think that it's working against him now because he's starting to look like a big joke in the media, a big immature just dude, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm starting to see what Kwame Brown sees or comments about this guy a lot because it's like this guy is trying so hard to not be serious to where that is kind of annoying in a weird way. And it's just like you make yourself look ignorant, man. Like you had a great basketball career. Yes, you made bad decisions, but dude, like this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Like you could do so much with the with the popularity you have, your level of celebrity, uh, the finances you have, man. I'm not telling you not to be yourself, but this does reek of trying to go viral and trying to always you know what i'm saying be known for it, like having outlandish takes and some of the stuff that this guy does is pretty good in my, in my opinion but i just feel like th this no no this ain't it dog <laughs> all i was all i was thinking is oh damn yeah nick this you right here you can't this man stop stop you can't stop saying this is you they gonna think that's true <laughs> you already gay <laughs> They didn't, they didn't coin you, baby. Is, is that you out? <laughs> I'm offended. To be honest, this looks like an amateur. Uh, I don't know how long this podcast has been going, but the whole setup to me, it just looks not as professional to me. She can't even get her questions off because these guys are obviously toasted, probably a little fried. And it's just hard to, to, to honestly, it would be hard for me to sit up and have a serious conversation with these two young men. Uh, because I just feel like they're they're playing in what Gilbert is trying to do is is act like it doesn't affect him or that it doesn't bother him. And if I'm Nick Young, man, like I, I see Nick Young and, and I heard a few rumors about him as well. Who knows what's true or not? But I could tell that Nick Young is a guy. He's not going to tell his OG that he's out of pocket or that he's out of line. All he knows is that he came into the league and Gilbert Arenas has kind of been like a like the party uncle, like the uncle in the family who likes to party with the young kids. And he's not going to go against his OG and, and try to challenge him to be better on his podcast because he's younger. He thinks that what he's doing is OK. And maybe it is OK in this new generation and time that we live in where you make money off being stupid and ignorant. And I think that with Swaggy P, if I'm him, man, I would look myself in the mirror and ask myself, how much more do I want to be around guys like this who bring more shame to my character or you know, maybe he's getting a check out of it and, he, and he's just going along. I, I will never try to interfere with that. But I'm just saying the look of it is that I feel like a lot of the stuff that Nick Young allows is because deep down he's afraid to go at Gilbert Arenas or kind of like check him and put him in his place with some of the outlandish things that he says because there's no way a guy can look at me and tell me that in a joking manner and I not eventually get serious enough to be like, bro, sh shut up for real, like hush. You know what I'm saying? Especially if that's not my makeup. And on top of that, we live in a council culture. So you do still want to give respect to people who live by those uh, guidelines in, 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 the, in that religion, you know? So at the end of the day, I think that you, you, it's best for people to back up out this situation, man. And, you know, li just leave it alone because this guy, Saucy Santana, man, he probably has the time to, you know, make up rumors or say this or say this and that about this person who could be straight and, 
you guys saw what the baby went through in my opinion i just don't think that it's worth it and if you're gonna face it face it wholeheartedly and not try to like make all these jokes and stuff about it you know like come from a point where it can be respected on both sides the thing comes from um as a straight man you're not discriminated against like yeah. people are gonna look at you and be like oh you're disgusting you're straight but you know in the gay community it's a lot of that a lot of gay men are being bashed for being gay so yeah. that's why when you laugh they're like oh he don't like gay people to piggyback off what she's saying that's exactly like what i just said you know like you know what i'm saying of course people gonna have their own feelings and dealings when it comes to like that lifestyle but i just feel like it's already enough back and forth with that whole situation where you know there's like this silent war going on amongst that community and and you know straight community so that's why i said like i just wouldn't even get in that situation man but because this is known this guy's known as no chill gill he just made himself look even worse, man. So, you know, you guys weigh in with your thoughts, comments, and concerns. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've heard enough of this. You know, I I was kind of rubbed the wrong way with the whole visualized, visualization of what Gilbert Arenas is alluding to, what he showed, and just the stuff that he's talking about. So who knows what to come of this. I pretty much just want to come and give a reaction to this and see where it went. But I can see that with this whole setup, it just, was, it just wasn't uh, ideal. Uh, or it, it all this just is it just seems like immature and trying to go viral in my opinion and i understand the points that gilbert arena is trying to make but i do understand that he made himself look like a moron you guys weigh in with your thoughts comments and concerns and let me know how you guys feel about this if you guys are rocking with the content please hit the subscribe button and also hit that like button and share this video if you found any value you guys do a great job of helping me so much on my youtube journey thank you guys so much for the love and support like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace.